so looking at future in terms of uh, hindu leadership how hopeful you are and uh, what has been your observation in terms of the way youth who many times because of their cultural differences here as well as the kind of uh, if they learn about hinduism from school or colleges they get to learn it in a way which is not every time in sync with uh, the authentic uh, way of hinduism yeah. i have um, very high hopes with the youngsters because i think all institutions like our there are many 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 temples and they must all focus on the youngsters very important you know and it's not that they all have to be ritualistic but basic dharma what is our dharma you know and not to go into the depth of saying the whole bhagavad gita that's not the issue the issue is well, how do you behave normally and how do you treat your elders you know how do you welcome your guests these are simple things our dharma teaches if they know that and they come to a temple and if they don't want to sit through don't force them to sit through the rituals even the atmosphere of the temple is good enough for them and as you said when they grow they will all come right back at least 80% of them will come back i'm pretty sure i'm very confident in that maybe 20% will not but that's okay you know they all have their own freedom they can do whatever they want our hindu dharma is here to stay i'm very confident about that and i don't think uh, anything is going to happen our uh, temples all these temples will only bring in more and more vibrations and lot of people are now realizing that they're so thankful that in each and every city there are so many temples at least if they want to go for 5 minutes they can go they don't have to travel very long so i think the purpose of building so many temples has been accomplished so that it can bring in lot of young people see generation after generation after generation you look at the temples in india they are there for hundreds and hundreds of years so same thing is going to happen here this country was although it was purely a christian country now you know practically all faiths and the law especially here in flushing you know they live in a very homogeneous way some problems here and there which as human beings it happens but i think we are very grateful and thankful that it's very homogeneous and we can and our lot of students from other faiths come here and they get fascinated you know ask very interesting questions and our ravi shivacharya is always there to take many many classes and they want what does this mean what does this mean and we should have the patience to explain they appreciate that also so if you look at the any deity each part of the deity has a special meaning and that's how the deities are created and if ganesha means it's intellect it is the brilliance you know and so we we we, we strongly believe and uh, uh, i know somebody once in a, during chaturthi time um, a little kid was with the mother and the mother asked uh, the little kid asked the mother saying that why does ganesha have this elephant head you know but was it that happened to be standing there and the mother was in a hurry she said to me don't worry that's the way he was born and she pushed him ah i then stopped here <laughs> i said please don't do that i said <laughs> because he will go out thinking that he was born that way no if you have no time tell him you will do this explain to him at home because once you lay down that they remember that all the time you know it is very important them to understand why this elephant had came to the lord the purpose of it how the lord has created then they will appreciate the story very much so i said we must give them the right information and then make them participate let them chant feel the the inner power how they can chant i think the youngsters will do far better than what we did